It's a well-known fact that when you have three points, let's say A, B, and C, uh, in 3D space, so each have three parameters and they're different points, um, uh, you can construct a plane that contains these, these three points. It's a well-known fact that if you have three points in 3D Euclidean space, you can draw a plane that has all these three points on itself. Uh, it's basically the information that's enough in order to know a certain plane, to construct a plane. And so, how do we get a plane out of this? Well, you have to realize that in order to get a plane, you need two vectors and a point on the plane. So, let's say we have already three points. So, we can use this point as our reference point that is lying on the plane, we know that. And we can use the other two points to get those two vectors. We can get the vector from A to B and vector to A, A to C. So A, B as a vector will be 1, 3 and minus 2, 1, 3 and minus 2, and A, C, so A to C. A second vector that we need for definition of the plane is 3, 0, minus 3. Okay? And of course now we need to get the normal, to get the perpendicular vector to both of these to now uh, write out the equation of the plane. So I'll just uh, rewrite these two vectors right here so that they don't take up quite space. 1, 3, minus 2, and AC is uh, 3, 0, minus 3. Yeah, 1, 3, minus 2, zero, uh, 3, 0, minus 3. And then I'll just take the cross product. So So this is going to be, by the way, the video on cross product is another video of mine that you can uh, watch. Uh, so uh, 1, 3, minus 2, minus 3, plus k, 1, 3, 3, 0. Okay. So this is going to be us minus 9, minus j times minus 3, plus 6, uh, plus k times uh, 0, minus 9. Okay, so this gives us the cross product, uh, AB cross AC, is uh, minus 9, um, minus 3, minus 9. Okay, interesting. So, now to construct a plane equation, we just will use the three components of the normal, of the vector perpendicular, which we got from the cross product of these two vectors and make, make it the base roots of the equation which will be equal to zero and into these parts we will put the uh, x, y and z what you can call shifts subtracting x0, y0, z0 which are parameters of the point that we choose and now I'll choose point A which will be 1, 2, 3 so 1, 2, 3 right here now just solve this equation, you see these three things were parts of the normal vector and these three things are just x, y and z minus always the three, one of the three parameters x, y and z uh, respectively of, of the point through which uh, it goes. So we'll just uh, get a result for this and push all the constants or all the numbers to the right side minus 9x plus 9 minus 3y plus 6 minus 9z plus 27 so we have minus 9x minus 3y minus 9z equals and this is 15 plus 27 minus 42 okay um, we push that number to the, to, the, to the right side and now we can divide both sides by 3 so we have minus 3x and we can divide both sides by minus 3. So we have 3x plus y plus 3z equals 14. And this is quite neat. So this is the result we got following all these rules, just taking the vector from here to here, from here to here, and then using this point. This was the three parts of information we needed to construct a plane. You got it from the three points. That's how you create a plane from three points.